Hi there. Thank you for visiting my channel and I just wanted to show you guys uh, some activities that we have set up for my first grader and my kindergartner for this week. Um, these are some of the stuff and I will switch some things out um, and I will probably just Instagram some pictures when I, whatever we switch out. Um, our theme this week is volcano so it will relate the lessons will kind of relate to volcano theme. So I'll just go to the word boxes of my first grader first. Uh, this is math and uh, we use Matthew C. So she will do these two lessons today. Then we move on to science and science will read some books. And then we will, um, the layers of earth. So she, um, she will identify and write them. And then we will do a mini um, science project using lemon and volcano so we'll we're gonna do few and um, just try out different ingredients and see the results and what she thinks so she can kind of like you know have hypothesis and think about it and um, so that's something we'll do and I will probably Instagram those pictures as well uh, this is geography we're gonna move forward uh, move along with the book uh, that I got it's the first grade geography by DK workbooks so we'll move along with that as well as um, we will identify where which the locations the volcanoes are and um, we'll look at the map and kind of identify so we'll do that as well so that kind of ties into geography then for language arts um, I, I found this uh, I think it's from teachers pay teachers and I can link that below and uh, this is like a, she'll read about it and then um, and then I, I think she can f read it fairly well, but I think you tally how many words she gets per minute and how fast she can read it, and then you answer some questions. I'm not sure if I'm going to do all this. I'll see how she does the first day, and then we'll take it from there. Then she has, uh, this is from the first grade workbook, um, grammar section, so she'll do that. Then it came with a reading comprehension. She'll do that. Then this came from like a, I think it's called like a joke book. <laughs> so she'll practice the handwriting. She'll kind of like copy the words. Um, she loves that, so she'll like it. So she'll do that for handwriting. And this came from a vo uh, Sylvan vocabulary puzzle. And she'll just uh, work on that. So that's handwriting, vocabulary, reading comprehension, uh, grammar and some more reading then she will read uh, she'll read to me this book uh, we are uh, doing a book club as part of our co-op and uh, she read a lot of these series and she likes it so this is another one we got Iris and Walter and Baby Rose so she'll read that to me and I will read read this one to them And then these are kind of just like mental games from cur uh, Critical Thinking Company. So we'll just do these together with my kindergartner. And so you kind of read about it and then you read and then you try to find which person. And then the same thing. It's kind of like. So it's like, I will chase a mouse and I start with C. I will chase a bird and I end with T. So then they'll, you know, write C and it ends with T. So it's, what am I? A cat. So we'll just do some of those. I think they'll like it. So just for some change, we'll do that. For our hands-on activities, I have some kinetic sand. And I'll put some more dinosaurs around it and they can like kind of try to build a volcano and put you know these around it and stuff and uh, so they can play with that then I have uh, different stages of volcano um, so we will go over these um, and then I will probably have her type these so she kind of memorizes it 
the easier and I don't expect her to like conduit and all that I don't expect her to uh, you know memorize or be able to write that but you know volcano ash gas you know all of those I want her to be able to spell so she'll do that and then um, once she gets once we go over it uh, and then after two days I will cut this portion out and then so she can match it with the picture so we'll that do that these are some books we have uh, this we're going to using watercolor we're going to uh, paint a volcano uh, with some sky and you know and then we'll use the construction paper to draw out a volcano cut it and put it and um, I'll post pictures of that this uh, we're going to using play-doh make the uh, layers of earth so they have these as a model to look at and then I also will cut them out and then make sure that they understand it then I have this um, salt writing that my uh, younger daughter, uh, she's doing all about reading level one, so she will um, try to write these. These are her um, words for her lesson today. So she will try to um, kind of work on it. She's not, her fine motor skills not really as good yet, so it's sometimes she doesn't like to write. So I thought this would be a good way to get her to kind of write. Um, so she'll do that. And my older daughter can maybe, instead of typing out words, uh, for her spelling words, she usually likes to type them as opposed to write them. Um, and uh, we're big on computers. Uh, my husband's big on it. So we I usually let her do that. But maybe today we can uh, do the spelling words here. And we use all about spelling. Um, so uh, we'll do that and maybe even these words they can write it using the salt so it'll be kind of different and fun so that's all we have planned for today all right thank you for visiting my channel